guys, it's Victoria. Welcome to the video on five books you must read, classic literature edition, beginner friendly as well. Basically, in this video, I will be recommending five books that I read personally at the very beginning of my journey in classic literature. And I'll kind of go through it, explain the stories a little bit, and even rate it. But no worries, I won't be spoiling anything like major in the stories. I'll kind of just like go through, you know, what's written on the back of the book or just like, you know, very basic things. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notified about upcoming videos on university life, different book recommendations, study with me's, and so much more. All right, so I did prepare my notes on the five books that I want to recommend to you guys in this notebook. So if you see me looking down, because I'm reading my notes. All right, so for the first recommendation, we have The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Now this book is actually the first classic literature that I read when I was younger. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's such an amazing book. It talks about such an interesting topic. There's so many themes that are embedded in this story. It's just awesome. So. I'm going to quickly read the back of the novel and kind of give you an idea of what the story is about and yeah. When Gregor Samsa woke up one morning from unsettling dreams, he found himself changed in his bed into a monstrous vermin. With this startling, bizarre, yet surprisingly funny first sentence, Kafka begins his masterpiece, The Metamorphosis. It is the story of a young man who transformed overnight into a giant beetle-like insect and becomes an object of disgrace to his family, an outsider in his own home, a quintessentially alienated man. Hopefully that kind of draws you in already a little bit. Basically the story is about this man who wakes up one morning and finds himself to be an insect and a really big one at that, um, like a human sized insect. And that is literally terrifying. But does that not like draw you into the story? Yeah, so this is actually a novella and so it's pretty short. Yeah, no, this is an amazing book. I really, really, really love it. There's a lot of themes that's talked about in this story and that includes like loneliness, estrangement, alienation, acceptance, denial, decline of like mental state. And it really kind of delves into, you know, society, family and all that really interesting stuff. So this book is actually, you know, it falls under the angst genre and so if you're into like dark deep topics this is totally for you this is this was just like such an amazing book that i read this book is a great book for beginners because you know the storyline is very interesting and i would say that the language is a lot easier than some of the other classic literature and yeah so it's easy to understand it's short the story is interesting this would be an amazing first classic literature to read. I literally wish I could read this for the first time again because it literally changed my mindset on like everything. All right, so next up we have North Air Abbey by Jane Austen. This was my first Jane Austen novel, which is not very common because I feel like a lot of people read Pride and Prejudice for their first Jane Austen novel, but trust me, this is a romance novel and as you can see it's also pretty short it's pretty thin northanger abbey is also a great starter for classic literature and i'm just going to quickly read the back to you guys northanger abbey is the light-hearted account of a young girl's first excursion into fashionable society Catherine morland is taken to bath where among a crowd of new acquaintances she meets henry tilney and his sister who invite her to stay at their family home northanger abbey Catherine, a devotee of horrid gothic novels, fervently hopes that the Abbey will match the haunted ruins conjured up in her imagination. All right, so <laughs> in other words, this entire book is kind of the description diary of this young girl's delusions. <laughs> if I was going to go visit this huge dark academia like Victorian home you best believe that I will also be romanticizing delusional like I will be doing that as well so I don't blame her but this is great this is just a really light read 
It's romance as well. Amazing Jane Austen novel, in my opinion. The language is a lot easier to understand and it's shorter, so the story kind of moves faster, which is good when you're first starting out with classic literature. So yeah, I totally love this, totally recommend. Up next, for the third recommendation, we have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I'm gonna read the back to you guys. This is definitely more of like an adventure sci-fi type of novel, so if that's what you're into, definitely check this one out. On the back, we got three singular words that are bolded. Adventure, pursuit, danger. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get to the description. A huge sea monster has attacked and wrecked several ships from beneath the sea. Professor Aranax bravely joins a mission to hunt down the beast. He goes aboard the Nautilus, a secret submarine helmed by the mysterious Captain Nemo. At first, the mission is exciting, as Nemo takes Aranax on a voyage through the underwater world. But when things start to go wrong, Aranax finds there's no escape from the Nautilus. He is now Captain Nemo's captive, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Yeah, so this novel, it is a bit thicker. So the story, you know, does go on for a little bit longer than the first two that I recommended. It's really good, okay? Trust me, trust me on this. This was also one of my very first, well, these all are, but like this was one of my very, very first classic literature reads and I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, so a lot of themes are in this novel as well, but it's definitely different from, you know, very dark themes that Kafka would talk about, very different from romance genres. The themes that this book has includes, you know, technology, innovation, natural world, exploration, and all of that fun stuff. Kind of more of like a fun read. The language of this book is definitely a lot easier to understand, I would say. The story goes along pretty well, pretty fast as well. It's a good book to start with. For our fourth recommendation, we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Another Jane Austen book, but of course, you know, Jane Austen is just amazing author. I love her. So I'm just going to give you my own description of the novel, but like a very basic one. I also feel like a lot of people probably already know the story. Um, but yeah, so Jane Austen, it's a romance story. It talks about pride and it talks about prejudice. And the themes that are kind of delved into in this book is pride and prejudice. Yeah, so you know what? Like the title kind of says everything it needs to say. It's great. It talks about, you know, society. And it really talks about how this very clever girl in this family of lots of daughters, she's very clever, she kind of makes a prejudice, right, of this man. I feel like that's all kind of self-explanatory with the literal name of the novel, Pride and Prejudice. I personally really love this book because in this novel there's actually a lot of feminist undertones. In the era that Jane Austen wrote this book, you know, obviously it wasn't as progressive at that time, so it was really honestly brave and powerful of Jane Austen to be writing and embedding these feminist ideals in her novel. And it's like almost secret, like you have to kind of read between the lines to get it. And that's what makes this book super fun to read, in my opinion. I will say, this actually took me like two times to get into because honestly the language barrier was a bit rough for me. But once you push through a certain point in the novel, immediately the story picks up. Honestly, I think it's totally worth the effort and time to understand and read this. Definitely recommend. The final recommendation that I will be giving you today in this video is Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoyevsky. Now, this book also falls under angst and I really love angst personally. It's I love it when it's like deep, dark. If you do too, this is a great one. There's definitely, you know, conflicting opinions about reading Crime and Punishment for one of your first few classic novels because the themes that are in this novel are definitely, you know, very dark, deep, and hard to decipher sometimes. And I definitely think you need to reach a certain level of understanding of society and like maturity to kind of actually understand what Dostoyevsky is talking about in this novel but still definitely this is like five stars so I'm just gonna read you the quick 
description on the back. It's very short. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men must, I think, have great sadness on earth. Ultimately, short description of the story. It is a story about this ex-student who is impoverished and he kind of goes mad and just murders someone. And in this novel, you kind of look at the consequences of his actions. And honestly, it's just a really interesting read. It does talk about a lot of very intense and deep topics, but language is a lot easier, story is captivating, and if you love angst, this is literally perfect for you. And that's why I would recommend it to be one of your first few. I really recommend. And yeah, so that's basically the five books you must read, classic literature edition, beginner friendly. I hope I didn't spoil anything for you. I don't think I did. But if I did, oops. So those are basically my opinions on what books you should read for classic literature. If you want to get into it, if you've already gotten into it, but you know want to kind of explore different books, genres. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found interest in one of the books that I recommended. Let me know if you end up reading any of them and what you think of it. And definitely let me know if you guys would like to see more book recommendation videos in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!